Next block is M12. It's a very straightforward nine patch construction. Every other block you have a uh, railroad type construction with three bars and then a solid piece in three separate rows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assemble my squares with railroad tracks right here. I've got directional fabrics for my background which has got this stripe kind of thing and my focus fabric also is directional. So I'm going to assemble these into squares and then connect them into rows. Very straightforward. The basting on these, I'm going to do the short sides of my rectangles first and then the long sides on every one of these. On these, I'm going to do the um, one sides and then the opposite sides on here. And I'll most likely do the sides first because this is the second fold, so I have a more accurate fold here to give it a sharper edge. So let's get started with basting. So I've basted my rectangles and I've assembled this square and I've taped it to the center here so that I can then stitch it to this center block. So I will finish out this row. So I got row one all assembled, which is, I've made this the bottom one. So I'm going to go on and do the center row. So I've assembled the center railroad block and I've got my tape attached so now I can sew this row together with both of the blocks on each end. So I got the second row all assembled and I will connect it to the other one. So one thing you'll notice when you go to put this together and line it up is that this piece is smaller than this piece. This is slightly larger on each side and that's because there's fabric thickness in the middle of these two pieces of paper and without and and these two so you got four fabric thicknesses adding to the size of this block which you don't have here and without the fabric in it is they're exactly the same size so of course they're going to be a little bigger the trick is to tack this down and start and line this up and go into about here and then tie off and then start over here with it lined up. It's not quite lined up there and come in. When you get to here though, you're going to force the issue. You're going to force this to line up properly. And then um, as you go here, you're going to do an X stitch. That's going to pull that together more so that it minimizes the effect of this uh, fabric thickness, making it larger. You're not going to eliminate it completely. But if you do your best to minimize it, you will have a better matchup than if you didn't. So that's what I'm going to do as I stitch this seam together. So I've put these two rows together and everything's in the same direction. And now I'm going to go and assemble my final row. So I've assembled the top row and now I'm going to connect it to the other two. So I've attached my top row to the other two and I have completed my M12 block. 